Hey everybody, I'm going to be making a very casual summer suit and I want to take you on my journey. So, I'm taking on the challenge of making a suit. Um, I was in the comments section yesterday on the sewing report. Um, if you ha don't know of the sewing report channel, I'll put a link in the description for you guys to check it out. It's super awesome. But anyways, the um, thing was that I was in the comment section talking to people and I was noticing that I was saying that I was intimidated into doing menswear. That's why I've been focusing on making dresses for my daughter. And I don't want that to be things that I do is kind of avoid things because I'm afraid of them. So um, that's what I'm doing now. I went to Joanne's today. I picked up some patterns and um, fabric and all the notions and everything that we're going to be needing to make this suit and I'm going to make it with you guys I'm taking you guys on this journey um, I decided to go with a casual summer suit um, it makes it a little bit less intimidating for me that way I'm not like in a business setting or something with a suit that I made maybe in the future I'll do that but um, right now I want it to be very casual very kind of modern looking suit that I can have in the summer. So um, let's take a moment and look at the stuff that I bought. First thing I want to take a look at is the patterns. Um, the first pattern I have here is a Vogue pattern. It's V9262. And um, I really like it. It has um, stitching that you can see, contrasting stitching. It has kind of pleats, pockets with contrasting colors and um, elbow pads with contrasting colors. I thought it was kind of a really cool uh, modern casual look. So I really like that, especially for the summer. Um, there's some things that I don't like about it, but um, this was the nicest suit that I found that I really like. Um, like it has three buttons I prefer it to have two buttons and um, a few other things but for my first suit I want to make sure that I have all the help I can get I'm doing it based off of the a pattern and um, I can um, go from there so the next thing I want to take a look at is the shirt so I have a pattern here from Bruda style it's pattern 6931 and because it's summertime and it's been really hot i want the option to be able to take off the coat and um just be with the shirt um i was kind of going back and forth if i wanted to have the um full shirt with the long sleeves or i wanted to have a short sleeve so i think i'm going to go with the short sleeves keeping with the casual theme of this um, suit that I'm going to be making for the summer um, so I'm going to stay with this but I kind of like the contrasting that is going on here with the collar and the sleeves um, I might try to do like a contrasting collar and contrasting sleeves or maybe just a contrasting collar um, we'll see how that goes but that is the pattern I am doing for the shirt and then the last item that I'm going to be looking at now is the Brutus style 6815 and again very casual I want to do smart pants um, or smart shorts I think that's what they call them um, where it just looks kind of like they are formal pants but they're cut off short again going with the very casual summer feel for this outfit okay so now I'd like to go over the material that I'm going to be using for the suit I have, this is gonna be the base color, the kind of white color. It is a really nice linen um, that should be able to keep me cool with, even though it's a long sleeve jacket. Um, it is lined and I'll show you the lining in a moment, but I'm thinking maybe I'll do like a half line or quarter lined jacket or something like that if I can figure it out. Um, the pattern itself is a full line jacket. If I can't figure it out, I'm just gonna do the full lining. So that's that one. And then the contrasting color that I'm going to have on the jacket is this purple linen. And it should be where you see it on the elbows and on the 
um, pockets and things like that, anything that kind of contrasts. And the last bit of fabric that we need for the coat is the lining. And again, I wanted to do maybe a half or quarter lined jacket um, if I can figure it out. If not, that's okay. Um, I'll just follow the directions exactly. Then outside of that, the other thing that I need, or the next thing that I need at least, is thread. I have this purple thread on the white. It should contrast a lot, um, which is the style of this jacket, so I really like it. Then I have the buttons. So these are going to be the three main buttons. And then these are going to be the buttons on the sleeves. Um, I really like it. It's kind of like this wood pattern. I don't know if it's real wood. It might be. Um, it might be plastic too. But it looks really cool. I like it. So that's what we're going with there. And the last thing I need for the coat itself are shoulder pads. So I got these shoulder pads here. Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk about is the shorts, the smart shorts. So they're going to be black material. Um, this is a linen also, so it should be really breathable. It's going to have black thread. So that thread should be pretty um, not contrasting and blending with the shorts, which is okay by me have a zipper and a button. Now looking at the shirt, um, I'm going to be using this material. Again, linen, but this linen is really, really um, nice and soft. Like I actually paid extra for this because this is going to be the base layer that is against my skin. And it's a little bit more, um, not see-through like most linen is so i like that and it's just super super comfortable so it feels very soft i like touching it so i have that for the main color of the shirt if i do do to the contrasting which i think i will i am going to use this purple color so the collar will be purple and the sleeves will be purple. Um, I don't think I'm going to make a pocket on this shirt. It's just going to be a um, flat front shirt. Then I have these buttons. And that's going to go along the front of the shirt and on the cuffs of the shirt. Oh, and one more thing before I switch this out is the thread so if you look at it that is the um thread color that i'll be using it matches the buttons a little bit better than it does this but it should be okay and looking at the pattern i think it does show some contrasting in the um thread and i wouldn't be surprised anyways if it did um so it should look fine i think we'll see one of the things that i didn't mention was that um, quite a few of these, I think all of them, needed some sort of interfacing at one point or another. Um, so they, uh, they suggest fusible interfacing and I kind of stopped using fusible interfacing a long time ago. Um, what I am going to be using is this. I have a whole skein of this stuff. This is um, muslin. So I'm going to be use the muslin as my interfacing. Everything that you guys need for this project has an affiliate link down in the description. And if you guys want to help out this channel, I have set up a new Patreon. Uh, there will also be a link down in the description. And finally, like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. We'll see you guys in the next video where we will be starting building this casual suit. Bye.